Good morning students. Today we are going to cover enlargement. Drawing the image when information are given but center is not the origin. Okay. Now, uh, in my previous video you have seen that whenever center is given you can just draw uh, lines through any points um, of the triangle and the center and then uh, try to calculate the length of the line and using the scale factor try to find out the image okay now in this case it's little complicated it's not a right angle triangle so this is little complicated um, what can you do my suggestion would be let's let's use the transformation matrix again transformation matrix it was uh, k 0 0 k and then let's say in this case I have the objects given the coordinates of the objects are P93, Q85, and R54. As you can see, P93, okay, P93, Q85, and R54. And center of enlargement is given 3R. Okay, center, it's not 0, 0, it's 3, 1. Okay. And scale factor, scale factor, let it be, um, let's say it's going to be 2. Okay. Let's say the scale factor is going to be, uh, or minus 2. Let's make it interesting. Let's put it minus 2. So we know that the center is over here and object is over here. So it's going to be somewhere over here. Okay. So using this transformation matrix, wherever, I have the value of k is minus 2 now, minus 2, 0, 0, minus 2, okay? Now, what can I do? Uh, we know that transformation matrix only works when center is the origin, okay? Center is the origin, then we can, we can just multiply the matrix times object, then we always gonna get the image, okay? Image, whenever center is 0, 0. But in this case, we are going to use this formula even though the center is not the origin. Okay. To make this one to origin, that means 0, 0, what I need to do, I need to subtract minus 3 from the x coordinates and subtract, one, subtract 3 from the x coordinates, subtract 1 from the y coordinates. So if I do that, then my new triangle of the object becomes p 6 2 you probably can see that 9 minus 3 is 6 3 minus 1 is 2 then q becomes 8 minus 3 is 5 5 minus 1 is 4 and r becomes 5 minus 3 is 2 4 minus 1 is 3 now this is my new object okay so if i multiply this okay if I multiply this with that now, so minus 2, 0, that's my transformation matrix. And what happened? I have new object here, 6, 2, 5, 4, 2, 3. And this is P, Q, R. Whenever I multiply that, minus 12, then minus 10, and this is going to be minus 4, and this is going to be minus 4, minus 8, minus 6, okay? That's going to be P prime, Q prime, R prime. Now, this is not the required image I'm looking for because from the center, remember I subtracted 3 and 1. So for every points over here, coordinates of that, I'm gonna add that back, plus 3, plus 1. So my Required triangles, required triangle of the image, the coordinates image, image would be P minus 12 plus 3, that's going to be minus 9 and 1 and that minus 4 plus 1 is going to be minus 3. That's P prime. Q prime, that's the new one, required one. This is not the original one. So 10 minus 3, that's going to be minus 7. And uh, minus 8 plus 1, that's going to be minus 7. R prime, let's put it this way. R prime 
the coordinates is going to be uh, minus 2 plus 2 that's minus 2 and minus 6 plus 3 that's minus 3 now let's see let's put this one over here and see if it works or not so p prime is minus 3 minus minus 9 minus 3 so minus 9 over here minus 3 is right over here that's my p prime and then q prime minus 7 minus 7 right over here q prime is minus 7 coordinates minus 7 and p prime was minus 9 minus 3 and r prime minus 2 minus 3 right over here so r prime minus 2 minus 3 if i join them okay if i join them uh, i think i made a mistake over here uh, minus 2 minus 9 minus 3 that's minus 2 minus 3 over here if i if i add that here minus 4 plus 3 that's going to be minus 1 okay and then when i do this this is minus 5 sorry this this point is going to be minus 1 minus 5 minus 1 minus 5 right over here so if i join this then it's going to be something like this the image should be looking something like this Okay, and I have all these coordinates of uh, uh, object A, P, Q, R, and P prime, Q prime, R prime. And remember the basic rule, whenever we join the corresponding points, it should go through the center. Let's see, R, R prime. Does it go through the center? We have already mentioned before. Okay, see that I join these two points, R, R prime, and it's going to... Uh, through this center given center 3 1 p prime p if I join that Then yeah, it's going through that and Then q q prime if I do that It's going through this point. Okay center. Okay. This is the Center not the origin. Okay. That's how you draw image when all the information given but image is not going through the center you just subtract or add to make this center equals to zero zero then you use the formula then whenever you got the coordinates of the image you just put them back if you subtract it just add it back if you add then subtract it back okay that's how you're gonna get this this is how you draw and then uh, next video i'll talk about um, the area how to find out area and the differences between uh, some of the cases of rotation reflection and uh, Enlargement whenever they all look the same. Okay, how to figure it out. Okay. See you till then uh, Take care